Richard Saccharides, former senior advisor to President Bill Clinton. Great to have both of you. Richard, let me start with you. Let's talk about Jeb Bush and his, uh, we don't necessarily need that much money for women's health issues. How big of a gaffe do you think that is? Well, I think it's very significant. I mean, I think it may be one of those things that, you, some, that some candidates don't really recover from. I mean, you that know, big? I think it's big. I mean, he's had a very he rocky... He said I was talking about Planned Parenthood. Well, look at the clip. Well, you know, anybody who looks at the clip will see that he is in a very relaxed setting. He's in an expansive mood. He's having what seems to be a very authentic conversation. I mean, I think we see in that clip the real Jeb Bush, and we see the face of the Play real the Republican Party. You asked for it. We've got it. You could take dollar for dollar, although I'm not sure we need a half a billion dollars for women's health issues, uh, but if you took dollar for dollar, there are many extraordinarily fine organizations, community health organizations that exist, federally sponsored community health organizations to provide quality care for women on a wide variety of health issues. Okay. Anna, is this about um, Jeb Bush not caring that uh, women need this kind of money, or is this about him trying to get a twofer and getting stuck, which is the government spends too much money and plan, 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 blah, 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 Planned Parenthood is a problem? You see, you're almost misspeaking this morning. Look, it happened. But I'm not running okay. for president. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yet. <laughs> there's, listen, I think, I think there's several things that happen here. First, he did misspeak. When I heard him saying I was watching the live stream, I, I thought, hmm, that's a, that's a weird thing for him to say. Now, what I did notice was that this is now a candidate in a campaign that have learned that when you misspeak, you don't him and haw for a while. You fix it. You clean it up. You admit it readily and you and quickly and, it, and you clean it up. It's going to happen in a campaign. Well, this Candidates is Anna. Candidates are going to misspeak. And, uh, Anna, you know, this and, and is, I'm glad now, you know, last time we talked about this was on the Iraq situation where it took him uh, a week or 10 days to clean it up. And, and you're right. I think he has gotten better about okay. cleaning and, and, up and, his, and, mis and Richard, his misspeaking. You know, but you can't keep doing this and run a successful campaign. Well, I mean, Richard, you know, this is, this Richard, is probably the worst I, I, start of something. any campaign in a long time. Oh, no, no, darling. The worst start of any campaign in a long time is Hillary Clinton. And, if I'm, and I'd rather be speaking about uh, Jeb Bush saying something wrong than about uh, Hillary Clinton doing something wrong and FBI well, uh, investigating listen, her she, uh, email she, server. Listen, if you want to you know, talk I knew about that, something I knew that, that this you don't recall, I knew this is what you were going to pivot. Hold on, Richard, right. because no, well, but, but listen, it's a significant okay, Richard, thing. Richard, and I'll lay Richard, out... What? And a layout Richard, what you think. put the brakes on yourself to this morning. Don't get all excited. Uh, I mean, listen, I'm having, I'm having a lovely morning, Anna. You're the one who's all excited. I, know, well, I mean, listen, my candidate didn't make a, a blunder that could cost him the entire election. So, so let's be real here. I mean, this is very serious business. When you say in an expansive, relaxed interview that you don't think we need funding for women's health, and, and, uh, and this is exactly what he did, you're in big trouble. Now, yes, he did take it back immediately, but, you know, this is the Republicans, the, Republican, the issue the Republicans face is that, you know, they are, they are everything, every, every candidate seems to be against women, every candidate seems to be against everybody who's not a white man. I mean, the Republican Party has got this All challenge right. in, the, in the primary. Okay, Anna, go ahead. Listen, yeah, listen, Richard, your candidate has misspoken before. Let me just say the words flat broke. And it's going to happen in a long campaign where there is live interviews. If she gave more live interviews, she, maybe she'd misspeak a little bit more. But since she ropes in the press, we don't see that. And your candidate has her share of problems because she's dealing with a constant drip, 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 drip of what she did do wrong, which is use a private email server inside her house for classified information. Anna, Anna, she's going you know, to have to respond emails, about it. But of, now, let's go back to the Planned Parenthood. No, hold on, hold on. Right, we do Richard, have to, hold on, Anna, the, for one second. Let's go back to the Planned Parenthood. You can't keep throwing all these haymakers oh. and just keep going. Yeah, let's yeah, unpack yeah, it. Let's this. unpack it. So let's talk about the emails because this is the news this morning, Richard, is that the FBI is now investigating um, the server. They say that they're not targeting Hillary Clinton. They're not accusing her yet good, that's good. of any wrongdoing, that's but good. that could change. Well, it's a low and, bar for good, Richard. Listen, the I FBI want to say is investigating anything that's not good. <laughs> listen, of course the FBI is investigating. The Republicans in Congress have raised all these issues, but the, the, the fact remains is that Hillary Clinton did what other secretaries of state have done. Uh, you heard yesterday, last night her spokesman again reiterate that she sent no classified information or received no classified information on this server that was marked classified. At the of time. Course, of course there will be an investigation. At the time. There is no charge of any wrongdoing. 
uh, there is an investigation. It's, it's perfectly appropriate. We've seen this playbook before, though, is that when the Republicans don't want to talk about women's health, when the Republicans don't want to talk about the real issues, what they do is they throw up this smokescreen. I mean, I think this email issue will prove to be a phony issue designed by the Republicans to, to distract attention from real issues like women's health. Well, the Inspector General uh, sees it differently than you do. Let me read to you the latest statement. This is from July 24th. The Inspector General found four emails containing classified intelligence community information, derived information, in a limited sample. They only looked at 40. They found four out of 40 emails. Information that may have been classified after the fact, okay? So you can't possibly no, say, no, you no, cannot no, possibly say you can, it was not classified when she sent it. They're saying that it may have been reclassified after she sent Anna, it. Anna, is that what they're saying? No, that's exactly, oh, that's not Anna. what they're saying. Anna, not only that, please but... Please be careful Richard, here. Hold on, Richard, let's hear Anna. Richard, what'd you take this morning? You know, <laughs> lay off the Red Bull so I can get in a sentence. <laughs> they have said that it was classified at the time that it was sent. There's going to be more investigation about this, and it's why it's contributing to her numbers going down and the trustworthy numbers, which are so important, going down because people see all of this back and forth on this email stuff and that more revelations come. When you have her spokesperson having to hand in 20 boxes of emails that were sent because they may have been classified, when you have the inspector general that's saying that in a sample, a small sample, they found four classified emails, when you have five intelligence agencies saying that emails were sent. Yes, of course there were classified emails. She was the Secretary of State, not the Secretary of Waste Management. Anna, listen, uh, you know, I know that you would not say anything that you uh, knew was not true, but uh, there's going to be an investigation on these emails, yeah. and we will, we, will, we will discover what it but is, you know, what, Richard, what actually what, happened. What, but what, but it, it is clear that uh, she did not send anything classified over the email it, server that was classified that, at the time. Richard, I just want to interrupt it's because it's not you clear to, to the Inspector that. General. I mean, the last sentence here says, this classified information should never have been transmitted via an unclassified personal system. Well, but That's the the point is, is that it was not classified at the time, and that no, investigation Richard, that investigation relates to the said, improper handling no, of the email Richard, after the fact. Hold on. You guys Listen, disagree you about the context of what the Inspector General is saying. It seems from the office that they believe there was classified information. That's why they want to further the investigation. They, they but they're having exactly. an investigation about whether or not it was classified. Now, listen, Chris, but, but, no, but you know, I, I just want to see, I just want to say what's happening here, right? I mean, we're trying yeah. to have a substantive conversation no, here this morning. No, but you've said it already. This counts. And her number that's hurting her right now not, is not does Hillary Clinton understand women's health does she understand anything it's trust and when you say this is just a smoke screen obviously people don't think it's just a smoke screen well we will find out the truth right after these investigations no, because it's I mean there's been plenty of investigations it's how you deal with it and okay. you know that and, and I think she's dealing with it in a FBI very open way think I think that she has, she has fully cooperated you don't think she that's wants why to Bernie's testify. catching up we why do you think Bernie's catching up I mean look at this Richard we do want to put up the latest poll because it does show what Chris is saying that Bernie Sanders is why is he within the margin I think Listen, that she. I think that there are a lot B. of people. I think there are a lot of people going after her right now. I think she's doing a great job of responding, trying to and trying to focus on the issues while trying to be fully candid and cooperate with investigators. She wants to testify. She's going to testify. Listen, the Clintons have been through this before. Uh, they have never really been found to have done anything improper, certainly not intentionally. <laughs> and 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 you know we will ha we will be through these investigations right, before well, the election. We'll, we'll but I think that she's capturing a lot of kinda, anti. We, I think we kind of glossed over. So, I, I, do you think that the Planned Parenthood issue mm -hmm. is going to wind up being a metaphor issue that is going to drive this race for a long At time? At the moment, it looks like it. I, I mean, mean, this new video, the fifth video yeah. that came out, has this woman on the uh, this woman. I don't, I don't know her name, but a she's she's rep. on there and she's talking about how you know the regard for what they're doing, not whether it's legal or not, but how they do it and the flippancy and the regard for these the fetus. It really could be the stage of the next round of the abortion debate. And that, I just want a quick take, Anna. Do you think that this is going to stay with us, this issue? Quick take. I do, particular, particularly if more videos start coming out. But I think it should bother you no matter where you are on the, on the abortion debate. The callousness and gruesomeness of these videos are very disturbing. Well, and there we have a point of agreement. Uh, both Anna and I have Hillary, and Hillary Clinton have, have, have said that and believe that, that there are as many disturbing things on, the, on those videos. And we will, uh, 
we will have to see, get to the bottom of this. But that is not Planned Parenthood. I just want to say that the videos do not represent all of Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood does amazing work. Uh, they well, are.